All right, what's up, guys? Uh, apparently, here's here's the, the the triple threat match. The last like this is the last match to qualify. Whoever wins this actually gets to join the fucking, uh, fucking Money in the Bank uh, ladder match. Money in the Bank ladder match. <laughs> Bitch. Look at this man, dwarf dance. The following contest. When the is fuck did people start laying salt mines? Making his way to the ring from Detroit, Michigan. Weighing in at 285 pounds, Will Wool. Guys, the upcoming triple threat match should be nothing short of spectacular. Yeah, especially considering what a victory could do for the career of the superstar who walks out of here with the win. I'm gonna punch a teddy bear. Jacob, what the fuck? <laughs> and his opponents, first, from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 222 pounds, Jacob Sutton. Ladies and gentlemen, the atmosphere inside the oh, I forgot that uh that apparently unreal. this crowd cannot wait uh, to get Jacob this is canonically as tall as you now in this yet, Michael. I will to bet they'll be on their feet the entire match. When her, when her name starts with J and rhymes with something you didn't receive as a child. Girl friend. Oh. Okay. Jov. Jaffection. Jick. Jick. Jessicelioma? What? That was Mesothelioma. It's still building things. Kids menu for 12 years and under. And from Wait a second. Ann Arbor, Michigan, weighing in at 239 pounds. Jonathan Turner. It looks like he put on some weight. Guys, we have triple threat action coming up as three of WWE's top superstars are set to square off. And Michael, I can realistically envision any one of these three competitors having their hand raised in victory here tonight. It is not. And so it begins, despite triple threats being wow. 
every man for himself. History has shown that the match's dynamics can create unlikely alliances. A participant must be ready to endure double-team attacks at any time. Gentlemen, you can almost literally feel the electricity in the air as we kick off this triple threat match. Look at Jonathan, he's... What a strike! He's left wide open here. I don't think he even realizes it. He looks dazed. This is about to get bad. Toss and Jonathan's the only one up and standing. Come on, John, you got this. Let them take each other out. Back between the ropes. Oh, what an uppercut. You gotta believe this one's over. Down to the floor. in from the floor he doesn't want to do this outside the ring oh he turns it around Boom. <laughs> what a close line ouch he's making a statement here with this attack Here he goes. Oh my god, is he gonna do it? Spy Buster! Can he finish the job? Oh boy, he is rolling. Ooh. Bringing it back into the ring. This is the beginning of the end. He's going for something. Oh, he's up on the announce table. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. DDT through the announce table. Incredible. Yeah, you don't see a slam like that very often. I uh, once was watching a fight. And randomly one random guy said, Eat his ass! So, he gave me that fight. Eat his ass! Absolutely fucking devour that axe. He's on the I talk about talk about you absolutely fucking big ass chunk. Really I man. Like ah. This this triple threat match is actually. Oh, he's got a baseball bat. Ah, uh, he's got a black top. Everybody moves out the way. No matter how Fun you fact, Radical it, Gaming Nerd actually used to play softball. Going for it all here. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oh, 
not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. A competitor must be ready for the possibility that they'll fall victim to a two-on-one attack on a triple threat match. A great example of that was the triple threat match on SmackDown Live between AJ Styles, Dolph Ziggler, and Baron Corbin. No one thought that Ziggler and Styles would got to keep himself protected from Jacob because that put Corbin through the Jacob announce table. And that's exactly what Jacob a gets the chance. He can use that in the back of their mind. And at some point, he use that devastating Styles clash. Together and take them out. It's one yeah, of he just he just ripped that off of uh, competing in a triple threat match. He just ripped that off of AJ Styles. Didn't even ask. My bad. Did not understand that. Oh, clothesline! When this guy's on, look out. This might be it. Oh, my. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Powerbomb! He's not looking good here. Looks to me like he's starting to feel the pressure, guys. The bottom line here is that despite what's going on right now, he's still in much more favorable health oh. than his opponent. Now in full control. Oh, that's how you establish dominance. He has something big planned. Whoa, distance there. Caught off guard. Oh, oh low blow. Oh, he's gay. He likes touching his dick. Jonathan, why would you do that? Because he's gay, he's Jonathan. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Anybody with the name Jonathan is part of the effect. He's looking at it. He's in full control now. Gonna destroy your face. That should do it. No fucking doubt about it. Oh, he's a rope break. It's the only thing that saved the match. Escapes trouble there. Jonathan's got to find a way to get back up. He's got him down. Is this it? And he's able to get out. He's still in this. Here we go a second time. Don't waste any time. Get. Come on, pin him. One, two, three. The cover, and this one's history. What a win! Radical gaming nerd is qualified. That's what I love about the WWE. A match that lives up to expectations, but still finds a way to surprise us with stuff. These superstars gave as good as they got, and these fans got the money's worth from the open belt. Here is your winner, Jonathan Turner. That's coming up big here for two of WWE's best. He was just better than the other two. Guys. That's all there is to it. And folks, I am happy to report that this triple threat match we just saw is now trending worldwide. Instant classic.